Welcome back. I'm Ann Christensen with your NBC5 forecast. We did get some sunshine peeking through today. The morning it was cloudy. This evening it's going to be cloudy, but we did get a high of 56 degrees. So above the average of 51, a record of 68 was set back in 1935. Low today of 27, average 33, record of 7 was set back in 1950. Other high temperatures out there today, it looks like we had mostly 50s for the coast, 57 for Brookings, 40s and 50s along the I-5 corridor, 40s on the east side currently right now. Starting to get a little chilly for the east side, 35 for Klamath Falls, looks like 30s for most of the region, 30s and 40s along the I-5 corridor. It looks like we are seeing 50s along the coast right now. Now we are in between low pressure systems and we have had mostly clear skies for the day, but we do have a storm right now that is making its way down into our area. Again, it's not going to be packing a lot of punch with it. We have just a very slight chance for some precipitation. We have that low pressure system right now that has is making its way through our area. Now the big player is clear out here. Here, and that could possibly be the one that is going to bring us some precipitation in the forecast, but that's not going to be until later this week, so it's still a little too early to tell. Your forecast for the coast tonight, we have temperatures in the upper 30s. We do have a slight chance for rain showers this evening for the coast and a slight chance for rain showers in the morning for the coast, and it should be clearing out again 40s and 50s for the highs tomorrow. Heading inland tonight, we do have a chance for rain late this evening. It is a very slight chance. Temperatures in the 30s, 32 for Medford. Looks like 20s for Northern California, 29 for Wairika. Slight chance for showers in the morning for the Rogue Valley, 43 degrees. And then it should be clearing out. We'll have partly cloudy skies. Roseburg has a higher chance for some precipitation tomorrow. And east of the Cascades tonight, we do have a very slight chance there for snow showers in the late evening. Temperatures in the 20s, 19 for Crater Lake, 18 for Alturas. And for tomorrow, a slight chance for snow showers early in the morning. And it looks like for Shemult, we will have a slight chance for snow showers throughout the day. For the rest of the area, partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the 30s, so pretty chilly day tomorrow, 35 degrees for Klamath Falls. Now, in the extended forecast, we still have a slight chance for some activity tomorrow morning for the Rogue Valley. Temperatures in the 40s dropping down into the 30s. We do have some Arctic air that's making its way towards us, so we are going to get very cold. Once again, we do have rain and snow likely for Saturday and a chance for rain on Sunday, so still, again, a little too early to tell exactly what this system is going to be doing, but it is showing good signs for some precipitation. And for the Klamath Basin, again, a slight chance for tomorrow, then clearing out partly cloudy skies to mostly clear skies for the week. A chance for snow on Saturday and Sunday. For the Klamath Basin, they have a pretty good chance for snow on Sunday. Temperatures mostly in the 30s, dropping down into the 20s for the highs. So again, getting very chilly. Temperatures in the teens for the lows. For the Mount Shasta Valley, we've got slight chance for tomorrow. Clearing out as well, Tuesday through Friday. Snow likely right now for Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures in the 40s dropping down into the freezing temperatures for Friday and Saturday. Lows in the teens and the 20s. And for the coast, we do have a slight chance for some precipitation tomorrow morning as well. Clearing out pretty nice week. Temperatures in the 40s dropping down into the 30s. Again, rain likely for the coast on Saturday and Sunday and lows in the 20s and the 30s. That is your forecast. Stay with us. We'll have more news and weather when we come back.